What's up Weekend Warrior Project? This is Alex and today we are going to replace the factory intake on Project Blue. We're going to get things started by removing the battery so we can easily access the intake uh, air box and remove the piping a little bit easier as well as put the, the new intake in with ease. I'm also going to install a new uh, battery cover for it as well. But after removing the battery and checking to make sure all the power is out of the system, I'm going to start just by removing the intake piping, which is super simple. You just remove the uh, clamp at the top there by uh, loosening it up, uh, and then the piping just comes straight out. Uh, the next step of this is going to be removing the intake box, which is more than just what you see on top of the car. There's actually a little bit more uh, in the front fender, which we'll kind of get into a little bit later. But the front box just comes out real easy with uh, just a couple of screws, and uh, it's pretty simple from there. So if you look right down in that hole, you'll see uh, that's where the new box is. But uh, pretty simple removal of the factory intake, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the new intake in uh, right now. And just for future reference, or just for reference in general, uh, it's going to be easier to install this intake by putting the filter on ahead of time. Um, but before we do any of that, we're going to put in the included spacer. This is the uh, this comes with the intake in from the box, uh, and it fits right into the OEM spot there. It's real simple. You just screw it right in, just like that. Now, it is going to take just a little bit of trying to kind of fit it all in there all together, even with the filter on it, but this is the easiest way to get it into the car. Uh, I tried a couple of times to put the hose in, or put the piping in, and then the filter on, and it's just way easier to remove the, uh, or to put the filter on and then put the piping in. So, but yeah, after that's in, go ahead and put on the bolt that's included as well. Uh, attaching the piping to the spacer on the frame of the car. Uh, and then after that, you're going to go up to the rubber hose and uh, tighten down the clamps on either side. It's also worth noting, it's, it's probably way easier to put the clamps on before you attach the piping and the hose to the throttle body just because you're not going to be able to go back in there and do it later so it what I did is I put the clamps on before attaching it All right, now that that's installed, I'm going to put the battery back in and install the new battery cover that I got for today. So this next part, this air box that I was talking about earlier, it's just a, a neat little thing that Honda invented. Uh, basically, it just there's a butterfly valve in there that allows a certain amount of air in at certain speeds. So if you're going at low speeds, it'll only allow in a little bit of air. Um, and if you're going at higher speeds, it'll let in uh, more air. I will be removing it though because over time they're known to go bad and with this being an 18 year old car now, it's just one less thing to worry about. Plus, you know, you know weight savings, whatever, but it, it, the system altogether is probably a little under 10 pounds, so uh, it will help with that. Yeah, here it is. You should move a couple of screws here. And then there's also one in the very back that you can't see that well on the left side of the box here. Uh, 
But yeah, once you get those removed, it comes right out. And uh, I don't really put anything in its place, although that may be something for later. Just depending on you know, how I feel about it now. Something that will also save you a little bit of heartache that I forgot to do when I made the video uh, is reattach the map sensor. Please do that, it's important. But uh, here is the entire system laid out. Um, and you can see that box and all the piping. It's just not conducive to high airflow, so. What's up, guys? So, Little update on Project Blue. Uh, it is currently in disrepair. I'm getting an engine knock, which is not exciting, but uh, we'll get that figured out hopefully pretty soon. Uh, the footage that you actually just saw is about a year old, so the intake's been on there for a little while. Uh, but the car's not been driving very long with the intake on there for a while. It's actually been sitting for the majority of the year. Uh, very shortly after I took the intake off, uh, it started knocking. So I've kind of stopped driving it since then and haven't really had time because my focus, no pun intended, has been on Project Alice for most of this, um, most of the time. But uh, yeah, so hopefully more to come on Project Blue. I'm not abandoning that one, but uh, you know, I'm getting married pretty soon and so a lot of finances are going to go towards that and so you know, we'll see. I, my goal is to get uh, Project Blue running again at least and then I've got a bunch of stuff that I had bought for a while back that I'm going to try to put on and then have some more videos of it so that it still gets some more screen time. Uh, it's going to need new tires because it's sat for about a year without driving and uh, one of the, I think the back rear tire went flat and it just sat like that. So new tires for the Prelude are going to be coming. I probably won't do anything super expensive at first because I'd like to get new wheels for it. but. Uh, We'll see how that kind of goes. I, I'm probably going to get new tires for Project Alice here in uh, just a, in a couple of weeks, actually. Uh, I'm currently in Las Vegas. Uh, but uh, when I get back home, I'll probably head over to some tire store, or maybe I'll get it from online. I haven't decided where I'm going to get it from, but I'm looking to get some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S on, uh, on Project Alice. And there's a couple other things that I'm going to be putting on there, so... Um, there's that. Uh, be on the lookout this next week for a blow-off valve install video for Project Alice, and we'll, uh, we'll get some more stuff of uh, blue in there, and hopefully it'll work out okay. Thanks for watching.